Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to teach you how to turn the Closet Core Pietra shorts into the Closet Core Pietra skirt. Okay, so officially there actually is not a Closet Core Pietra skirt. I kind of created it. Maybe, I'm sure someone else has done it. I'm not going to take credit for that, but I did kind of create it out of necessity. So if you remember, I made the Closet Core Pietra shorts and this first version that I made was sort of my wearable muslin. I made it out of linen and I made it according to my measurements. I picked my size and it was just too big. Like it was definitely too big. I tried to do a couple of adjustments to make it smaller and ultimately I kind of kind of killed it <laughs> a little bit. And so I was like, okay, how do I salvage this? Because I really like the fabric and I had already made a matching top. So what I decided to do was turn it into a skirt. So I have some video that I took back in our old apartment as I was working on it and I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, so because these were already a little bit on the wider side, I was able to just take this seam, this center seam, and just follow it straight down. So I've just pinned this straight down and then I'll trim this out afterwards. And I'm gonna do the same on the back, although I might cheat the back out just a tiny bit and then I'll try it on after I've basted it and if it works, then I'll finish it. Okay, and so this is the curve that I'm following at the back. So because of the elastic, of course, this has all been moved in. So I'm trying to estimate approximately where that line would have come down straight-ish. I have a little curve on there, I think to make a little room for a tush. So I'm going to baste this and baste the front, try it on, and if I like it, then I will come in and like, I still have some unfinished edges from when I was trying to um, refit these and cut some things down. So yeah, here we go. So that's it. So here's what it looks like. And I'll put in some video that I took this morning of me wearing it. I'm actually wearing this just so you know with my Durango tank. This is a Durango tank a free pattern by Hey June Handmade. And um, I actually took about four inches, five inches off the bottom to make it to the waist or just below the waist because it's fairly long and it has a curved hem and I just wanted it to be a little bit shorter. So I made a second set of closet core Pietra shorts and I just sized down and I also took the, um, the front seam, the front crotch seam up until it gets down to the crotch. I took that in by about a quarter, quarter centimeter, or sorry, quarter inch. Um, and I did use the tutorial by Karina of lifting pins and needles and I'll put that down below. My second pair turned out much better, especially now that I've washed them a couple times and so they've just kind of just tightened up just a little bit. Um, now they're perfect. So that was the key for me was to just size down. So how can you, if you want to start off and just make this into a skirt, because how cute is it with the little shorts, right? Like it's super, super cute. I'm going to show you. I have my pattern here in this um, just a plain envelope that I got at my local, actually it was my, where I buy my magazines, to be honest. And I like to do this. I like to just take my things, fold them up, put them in here and then I just write on the side what's inside. I try and combine, you know, four or five, well, no, there's three in here. This is a smaller one. So when I had great big, I used to have great big ones that I used to make so that I didn't have to fold things. But honestly, you know, if I go back to a pattern twice after I've made it initially, that's a lot, right? So having it folded up is not that big of a deal. Obviously this depends on number one, you being okay with having a shorter skirt. Um, because shorts generally you wear shorter than skirts sometimes at least. Um, so you might want to consider using the length and shorten line and lengthening it a bit to give you the length that you're comfortable with in a skirt. For me, this is, I consider this a mini skirt. My husband's like, is that really a mini? I'm like, yes, yes it is. Okay, so let's look at this pattern really quickly and I'll show you what I would do to adjust it if you're starting from scratch. Okay, so here with the front piece, you've got the center front leg. Honestly, I would just start here and just do a plumb line straight down. You're just cutting out that part that's going between your legs and in the crotch, right? And so you just want to plumb line straight down. Um, should do it, like, because you already have your seam allowance in here. Um, and because of the way I did this, I definitely did not add 
you know, I didn't add any extra. I didn't add seam allowance. I literally just sewed, continued the line of the stitching straight down to the bottom. Same thing in the back. Um, you know, here's the back portion. And again, like you just want to get rid of this, right? We don't need that. And so you can just kind of continue this down. Now this is at an angle and you might notice on the skirt that it does have a tiny little, you know, so maybe you don't like that. Maybe you want to take a, a pattern that you already have for a skirt and put it on top and sort of, you know, copy that edge. It's just a question of how, you know, what, what style you're looking for. But this is how I did it. And I think it turned out really great. I actually think I will try again because just for this pockets, and I also love, I love the front, the front of this pattern, how flat it is. I love the front facing, how chunky it is. And it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel really kind of securely, do you know what I mean? Like not a corset, but it kind of just has that really solid feel to the front, which I really like. Um, and then the elastic waistband just makes it so much easier. Although I have to be honest, I would like to try to add darts to this pattern and um, use a zipper instead, because sometimes I do find the back a little bunchy, but that's just me. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Would you try this? Have you tried the closet core shorts? Or do you have another shorts pattern that you'd like to try this with that would maybe um, allow you to use your pattern for more? Pattern hacks are such a good way to get more bang for our buck with our patterns. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe. I know we say this every time, but it makes such a difference to the channel to have more subscribers and to have more people coming back week after week to see the content. I so appreciate it. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing. Bye-bye. Before I go, I realized I have one more quick share of a thrifted dress that I altered and I absolutely love how it turned out.